You guys, oh my god, welcome to episode 6 of Be More Chiseled. This is an amazing situation. I'm here with my son, Jeremy here, and we are at a bowling establishment in New York City. Um, just real quick, you're here with uh, your colleague, Will Roland, who plays with son, Jeremy. My son, you know, it's like you reach a certain age and it's not cool to say my dad anymore, or, you know, you gotta be independent. I'm here with my son, and bowling's not really my thing, but I want to take a vested interest in his interests. I feel like that's a good fatherly move. And I want him to know that I support him in all that he does. You know, I mean, bowling is a, a really athletic activity. You can really, you know, get, get all the muscle groups working. It's a surprisingly sort of active thing to do. Oh, you think you know your son. Colleague. And then he, and then he, he comes up with the scientific stuff on you. I'm so proud of you, son. Thanks, Jason. Let's bowl. Let's bowl. Alright, so, uh, make sure you lace them up tight, alright? <laughs> Giving advice to the old timer. You got your own shoes, huh? I sure do, man. I'm pretty serious about this. You, you think know? you know your kids, and they surprise you every time. You know, not, not really your kid, but you know, it's cute. What, what we're doing here. I don't understand why he's talking like this. I love you, son. Guys, I don't know. Um, I don't know what Jason's doing here. I don't know if this is like some sort of uh, acting game. I'm playing a teenager in the show and he's speaking to me like I'm five or three, but I'm almost 30. It's weird. This is weird to be around. It's a very strange way to treat a coworker. It feels kind of inappropriate in a way. Hey, big boy. You ready to hit it? Let's go, man. All right. All right. Man, you're too cool to call me daddy. I'm not Tell me you're not you. too cool to call me daddy. I'm not going to call you daddy, Jason. All right, let's go do All it. Right. All right, here we are picking out our big ball for the, for the, uh, for the big game. Yep. What are you rocking there, son? Oh. It's 14 pounds. It's got an asymmetrical weighting side so you can control the curve more effectively. <laughs> we encourage science. As his father, I, I feel like an 18 or 20 pounder is probably what I should be rocking. I, I would argue with that, but okay. All right. Okay. Well, if you do, you're going to lose your video game privileges. <laughs> All right, I figured, you know, I'll let my son go first. My, my, my young man. It's getting old, Jason. Just, just had a sweet 16. Just 29 years old in the ball for God's sake. It's really important for me to teach my son that winning is not everything. It's how you play the game. You're five years old. Alright. Hey, 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 son. You got a little schmutz. Oh my god, Jason, a little schmutz. Jason, get off! Get off me, man. You're so embarrassed of his old man. Come on, little. Um, Jason? Jason? Sweet tooth. Sweet tooth. Yo, Williams. Jason, sweet tooth, Williams. Hey, Dad. Yes, son. Hey, hey, watch out, son. Watch out. It's a little slick over there. I don't want my boy falling on the ground. Focus, concentrate, be careful. You only get one body in this world. That's what I'm learning. Okay, okay. Can I talk to you? You want to talk to me? Yeah. Let's just go talk, alright? Hopefully. You're Jason Williams. I'm Will Rollins. I love this, like, getting into character Daniel Day Lewis thing you're doing, but it's not. Um, hey, you know, I'm just trying to support the uh, the interests of my son. <laughs> That's not, all I'm doing. I'm not your son, Jason. Listen, if if, uh, if all your friends jumped off the Brooklyn Bridge, would you do it? Oh my god, Jason. You gotta go poop poop. Oh my god, you Jason. Gotta go poop -poop. Jason, you're not my actual dad. You've been treating me like I have a child the whole time that we're here. We're actors, we're peers, we're colleagues. I'm not a child. You're treating me like a child. I am not a child. I'm a grown ass man. I'm a grown ass man. Let's get a beer. Let's get a beer. Yes. Gotta go. Will and I had a blast bowling, and he's a good sport for going with me, enduring my amateur bowling style, which is basically just throw the ball. 
as hard as you can with your eyes closed. And occasionally it works out, but um, he was a good teacher and we had a lot of fun. This week was a good week, did a lot of good exercise, ate pretty well, made some, some big strides, and hopefully the, the scale will reflect that. Let's just get right to it and check it out. Here we go. Not bad. Pretty good week, like I said. I felt like I actually uh, made some made some headway and feeling really good about that. That's great. And I just wanted to mention, uh, earlier this week, I went to Connecticut for the funeral of a friend of mine from high school. And I only mention it because I noticed in myself that at times that I'm grieving or going through something like that, that's a trap for me to feel like I need to comfort myself with food. And I think it's really important to find those things that happen to you in your life or the circumstances you get yourself in that are triggers for you to eat poorly and, and go off your routine. And I think that was a big one for me. So I think identifying it was a big thing and I did really well, I think, to come out of it. So I'm proud of myself for that. So that wraps up another great week. Please like the video, subscribe to my channel, and share if you can. It's been really exciting to get messages from people who have been inspired by the Be More Chiseled thing, and it's inspired me to keep going. So thank you all for that. And we're doing it together, so let's keep going. Be More Chiseled, there'll be another video on its way. So I'll see you then. See you next week. Bye.